the time has arrived. I just want to say thank you to all of you who commented on my video a large scale GNS3 networks. There were a lot of suggestions about technologies to add to my GNS3 network, including F5, Palo Alto, Juniper, and many other devices and technologies. Please continue to give me feedback as we grow this network together. Once again, I'm going to start off small. I'm going to start off with an NM16 ESW module in a router, but I will create a large campus network and run protocols such as VRRP, HSRP, and various versions of Spanning Tree. Thank you very much to all of those who gave encouragement. I really hope that this topology and network show you what's possible with GNS3. I was asked multiple times to give details of the servers that I'm using in my GNS3 environment. As an example, Jeff said here, the compute power would be interesting too. Is there one or multiple GNS3 engines? He uses an i7 with 64 gig of RAM for GNS3 and viral, and that gets busy. So in answer to Jeff's question and the questions of others, I'm going to scale this topology by connecting multiple devices together. I'm not going to simply rely on a single PC. I'm going to run one graphical user interface with multiple GNS3 VMs working together. And when that struggles, I'll split it into multiple GNS3 topologies. I also had questions such as what are the prerequisites and can you follow along? Firstly, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to replicate what I'm doing. I'm simply trying to build as large a topology as possible, showcasing different technologies working hand in hand and working seamlessly together in a GNS3 topology. Now my main computer is a Mac and I've integrated GNS3 with the GNS3 VM running within VMware Fusion. This Mac is an iMac 27 inch, a late 2013, processes a 3.5 gigahertz Intel Core i7. I've got 32 gig of RAM installed on this PC and I've got a 251 gig hard drive with 200 gig allocated to my Mac OS. So this will be my core computer but I suspect that the network will outgrow this computer, so I have additional computers to add to the GNS3 topology. So in addition to my Mac, I also have an old Toshiba laptop. It's an Intel Core i7 CPU, 2.8 gigahertz. It's got eight gig of RAM installed. It's running on Windows 7. So I'm going to run a GNS3 VM on this PC and integrate that with my GNS3 GUI. I've also got another Windows PC, also using the GNS3 VM. It's an Intel i7, 3.6 gigahertz, and this has 12 gig of RAM in it, running Windows 7 64-bit. So I'll expand the network to include both of those PCs once my Mac is struggling. In addition, I have ESXi servers, which I'll add to the topology to make it even bigger if necessary. This first server has 64 gig of RAM in it, and the second server has 16 gig of RAM in it. So basically, I have multiple physical servers, including my Mac, which I can use to throw resources at the GNS3 network. So hence, you may not be able to replicate what I'm doing exactly. The aim here is to build a very large GNS3 network. I'm gonna try and run 
as much of the network as possible from a single GNS3 GUI. But if I run into problems doing that, or it's not scalable enough, I'm simply gonna split it into multiple GNS3 networks that are interconnected. So let's see how far we get running a GNS3 network within a single GUI, and then I'll interconnect multiple GNS3 networks, which should give us unlimited scale. Have a look at my other videos, which I've linked below, that show you how to connect multiple separate GNS3 topologies together, and also how to connect multiple GNS3 VMs together through a single graphical user interface. Let's see how far we can get using GNS3 and building large scale networks. Please keep on providing feedback. If it gets boring, let me know and I'll stop building this topology. Again, if it gets boring, let me know. I don't wanna spend hours and hours creating this network and content if it's not of interest to you. Now please note that I can only use devices that are supported in GNS3 or devices that you wanna give me. So I can't necessarily run all types of physical devices. You'll either need to give me devices that are not supported by GNS3 if you want them added in the lab, or I'll have to use something that's equivalent to those devices that is supported by GNS3. Okay, so I'm hoping that gives you an idea of the infrastructure that I'm using. All of these PCs and servers are connected by a one gigabits per second network. And inter-VLAN routing is done by Cisco physical devices such as routers and switches. Let me know if you wanna know more about the physical infrastructure, but those are the devices that I'm using in my network to build this large scale GNS3 topology. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please continue to give feedback of the devices and technologies that you'd like me to cover. Please remember that I'm gonna start off slowly, and I'm gonna build and build and build until you're bored, or until we run out of technologies to try. I wanna wish you all the very best.